Biggie was just saying, today's date is 112222. Yeah, I thought it was cool. They have a, a, a word for those types of numbers now, and I can't remember what the, the word is. It's a, a new descriptor, like well, happy numbers or something like that. Well, it's 112222. What's the big deal about that? I mean, it's like the sequence is repeated. Yeah, but it's really not. No. It, was, just, it needs to be 3-3. Three, three. One, one, two, yeah. two, three, three is the one that really would. I just thought it looked cool. I mean, one, one, two, 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 two. <laughs> <laughs> He's done it again, folks. <laughs> but when you have double numbers like that, you can see how some people might find that pleasing to the eye. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, I, I thought, thought it looks cool. That's, that's another one of those things that I Other people enjoy. <laughs> that I don't. And so you hate. I hate. Mm-hmm. That's right. And I mentioned a lot of these. Yeah, I thought of more of these later. This was the end of garbage time yesterday. Mm. What was that? I was, oh, Friendsgiving. I don't, I don't like that. Pe- people enjoy it. And I think you're making a mockery of Thanksgiving when you say Friendsgiving. I think that's ridiculous. I got, I, it's weird. You, that's one of those things like, mm. like you in the concert, the Kenny Chesney concert. Yeah. And you must have, this, this is the second time you put it, you've done put it this. into the universe. I, as you know, I've been seeing somebody. Yes. My friends and I yeah, don't. That's right. <laughs> My friends and I don't do Friendsgiving. We don't. Good. It's awful. Well, she comes in. She's like, we got three Friendsgivings this to go to. <laughs> Until this year. God. I said three. Three Friendsgivings. She's like, yeah, we got three of them all, all planned out. So a Friendsgiving. And this is the, what they do. It's Thanksgiving meal. Yes. With just friends. I did ask that. I said, now this is a real Friendsgiving, right? Look, she said, yes. Mm-hmm. I've got, she said, you got to bring Thanksgiving staple. Everybody brings something. It's a ridiculous concept. Thanksgiving should be reserved for Thanksgiving, and there should be nothing like Friendsgiving. So later in the day, I was like, I, there's probably a lot of those that I have. Like that one right there where you just said, that things like that when you say 112222, and I think there's no significance really to that. Because, I mean, 3-3, three, three, yes. 1-1-2-2-3-3. One, one, two, two, three, three. Okay, I get it. One one two 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 two. It doesn't mean anything. It's not. No, it's no I just thought it looked it does. Cool. It's it no, means you're miserable. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's miserable. what the co- I've cracked it's the code. Taste <laughs> nothing. And then later, I, I was pumping gas, and I was like, "Oh, I know what it was. I got a World Cup score update." Uh-huh. Uh-huh. At the pump? Yeah, at the pump. At the pump, <laughs> Maria Menounos came on and said, "The United States is leading Wales one nil with in the fiftieth minute of the." I, I don't care about the World Cup. And when pe- when I see people getting joy from it and going crazy and everything, I'm just like, what are you doing? It mm-hmm. makes me so mad <laughs> to see. Now, normal people, just regular happy people say, okay, I don't care anything about it, but enjoy. You do you is what people say. You You've do- never said that. That's another thing I hate. You do you. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I don't like that. You do you is not my uh-huh. thing. So I dislike when people enjoy the things world, you dislike. Things I dislike. It's a, it, it was a perfect example when Biggie went and got his pumpkin spice latte. I was so oh, that angry. Was, that was the best day. That ever. was the one. The giant steaming turd in a cup that of coffee. That was the one where I was like, why are you going to see this? What, get the pumpkin spice latte. Mm-hmm. I, I've, and yesterday I was like, you know, probably the biggest one is wine. I don't like wine or care anything about wine. So when I'm sitting around a table with 10 people and everybody's like, oh, you know, and sniffing it and all that stuff. And you've got your Diet Coke. I just (laughs) (laughs) seethe over that. Is it because you feel left out? I guess. I don't know. Is that part of it? I I think it's more when I don't like something, I just can't understand why anyone does. And it's just like, and, and plus, People go so crazy over wine, especially, oh, oh smell that. And I'm just like, come oh, on, just drink it. I think you just upped yourself on the most narcissistic thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what You just said out loud, mm. if I don't like it, I don't understand why, why anyone, anyone else does. It. That's a fact. Mm-hmm. That I might, don't. That That's what it is. That's what it is. Wine is probably my biggest one. because I don't, And another, like... Um, <laughs> food shows like celebrity chef shows i could care i could give a flip so dave will come in here sometimes like oh did you see giada oh, this is ridiculous <laughs> did you see selena gomez make a cake right, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous and mm. so i loathe it just because i don't like it when other people do i get all angry about mm-hmm. it it's really a big time character you are way ahead of the curve when it comes to being a miserable old man oh god yes I yes mean, you, you've been yes. practicing for it for years but the jersey is now yours yeah oh i agree <laughs> Uniform fits. I agree. It's time to wear it proudly. I was pumping gas and thinking through my head, what are some other things like that? And definitely 
uh, those the World Cup, all all of those things uh, mm-hmm. that I just mentioned, and wine. That that's definitely the case for me. Uh, but it's the season to be thankful. But, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You all should be thankful for me. <laughs> I'm the only one who sees through your BS. I'm the only one that sees how ridiculous these things are, like Friendsgiving. <laughs> how awful. <laughs> Michelle is in Japan. She's our listener furthest away. Konnichiwa and happy Thanksgiving, Michelle. Well, Kambonwa, and actually for us, Thanksgiving is tomorrow. We actually can have a Thanksgiving holiday in Japan, believe it or not. Really? I didn't think you'd be celebrating. Special day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, we have that. So today is a special day. Very similar to what you were just talking about with the numbers. Mm -hmm. That's actually a big thing in Japan because the way the Japanese system works, numbers can be pronounced with the same kind of letters that are used to build words. So oftentimes numbers put together in certain ways and dates will spell out a word. Mm -hmm. And so today is is Ifufu Day, which means Good Couples Day, because the the letters of 1-1 and 2-2 pronounced make e fu fu which means good couples so it's a good day to mm-hmm. get you know married or have a, oh, a relationship see. so it's like a second kind of valentine's type day okay all right there's that in japan that was the other one i mentioned yesterday galentine's day i didn't that's, that's right you don't want single women celebrating <laughs> made up go home and be sad <laughs> No man wants you. Yeah. Go drink alone, but not wine. <laughs> it's made up. Silly. <laughs> Silly. Doesn't care for it. Thank you, Michelle, in Japan, and happy Ifufu Day. <laughs> we appreciate the phone call, as always. That was the most empty Ifufu <laughs> I've ever heard. <laughs> you don't think my heart... It was not no. a heartfelt Ifufu yeah. No. Message. I don't understand it. I hate it. Do you know, <laughs> today, I told Chris Dimness, this is about passage of time. Today is the 59th anniversary of John F. Kennedy's assassination. Now, I was telling my wife the other day, uh, it was yesterday, I said, we're coming up here on the 50th or the, the 59th anniversary of his passing. I remember like yesterday, we watched a lot of documentaries and stuff. It had to be, it was the 50th anniversary of mm. his passing. And that was nine years ago. So, my God, the time mm-hmm, just yeah. goes. And then I told Chris Dem today on the 30th anniversary of his passing, which was 29 years ago today. I was working with a different morning show host in this building, and he had me make a montage of Kennedy's speeches and such for like two minutes so we could Mm -hmm. mark the 30th anniversary of his passing. That was 29 years ago today. I was sitting right in this building doing that. Mm -hmm. And I said to Chris, my God, the time, it just goes, you know, it's just because that didn't seem like that long ago that I was making it. But it's on different equipment. It was on different editing equipment. Yeah. Yeah. Our technology has changed. What was Biggie, 10 years old when I was making that? Is that right? Yeah, yeah you were 10 years 10. old. Mm-hmm. I was making that. Mm-hmm. BBC was like one. <laughs> yeah. You know? Or if that, you know, 29 years ago today, he passed away. And I feel like people don't talk about the Kennedy assassination. Since that 50th anniversary was big, now they don't talk about it nearly as much. You don't hear much about it. I mean, you'll, you'll see news shows. You'll see mm-hmm. news stories about it today on on. A little the, bit. The news network. A little but bit. Other than that, you may not. You don't really see much about no, it. I, I mean, I don't know. I haven't seen any much about it on social media. No. No, no. I it's, haven't. It's still early-ish. I guess today there could be a news story about it. We'll see. The uh, couple of things that are breaking now. I don't know. This, you might have to fill me in, Biggie. A couple named Todd and Julie Chrisley have been sentenced to 19 years in prison. They did a reality TV show. And they're, one of them's in for 12, the other in for 7 for tax evasion and such. Yeah, they did a... Uh, a lot of tax evading, apparently. Yeah. And, um, yeah, they had a reality show. Mm-hmm. It was very popular. I never watched. I think I saw an episode or two of it. Mm-hmm. I never got into it. But um, they actually got off pretty light because I think they wanted 22 years for Todd yeah. and, like, 12 years for the wife. Yeah. The, the defense wanted no time for the wife and, like, nine for Todd. So the, it, she got it kind of worse off, I think. Yeah, but Do we know, Biggie, how they made their money? Uh, if I, I think maybe real estate, but then they started hiding money. I mean, they, they really did hide money from mm. the government, too. But when I see tax evasion and 12 years in prison, that's a big sentence to oh, me. Oh, yeah, and they did a lot of, but I mean, they, this was millions and millions they avoided paying. Mm. Their show's called Chrisley Knows Best on USA Network. I guess it was a success. A lot of people see Very much so. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I was on for a long time. Mm-hmm. They, I've, I've, I, don't, I didn't watch the show. Um, but unlike Chris Kelly, I don't hate people that do. Mm-hmm. But I've seen a lot of photographs of them since the the story broke about their jail sentences, and the the 
plastic surgery, the faces on these two. Mm -hmm. Terrifying. Oh, yeah. That's what our friends down the hall are going to look like in about five years. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a lot of injections. A lot of Botox. A lot of lip lip injections. Plumping, filling, stuffing. (laughs) Especially him. Sucking. (laughs) Hairline this. Sucking, plumping, hairline. I'll tell you, it's going to be very interesting to see their prison photos. (laughs) Yeah. When they when for seven nine years they can't get this. Oh, stuff. I see. Oh, I thought yeah. you meant our friends. I thought you meant uh, our could co- be that way too. Our colleagues when they get inevitably arrested. <laughs> yeah, for hiding money, <laughs> for tax evasion. <laughs> yeah, these two are going in. Uh, they have a 16 year old son. Wasn't he injured or something? He was. He crashed his truck earlier this month in Nashville. Has been hospitalized. Looks like he's going to make a full recovery okay. too. But these two are going off to jail. It must have been a lot of money. It looks like $30 million that oh, they yeah. tried to hide. Yeah. So that's a big deal. I mean, it was a, a substantial amount. Clearly. And they said that they were, did everything they could mm-hmm. to, to not pay. Here's a story about, it's not about fillers, and but it is about looking younger. And this is breaking today. The new Indiana Jones 5 movie. I'm not sure when it comes out. Is it this year still? Are they coming out I with that? So. I, think, I think it's early next year. They're filming now, I believe. Well, I wouldn't think it'd be early. They'd probably come out in summer. Wouldn't summer, you think July year. or yeah, Memorial yeah. Day. Anyway, Harrison Ford is in Indiana Jones 5, uh, June 30th. I just read the date. So June 30th of next year. And Harrison Ford, in the first 10 minutes of the movie, it's set back when Raiders of the Lost Ark is uh, like a little 10 minutes of 1944. So they needed to make Harrison Ford look like he did in Indiana Jones, the first one, Raiders of the Lost Ark. And they have the technology now to de-age him. So he looks exactly that age. And Ford said, I don't know how it works, but it's the first time I've ever seen it where I really do look like, like I did in 1985, 1984. And so they, they've they done that. Hmm. And so that's just for the first 10 minutes. Then it fast forwards to 1969, and he's aged. He's okay. looking the way but he now. We've now. seen this type before. If you watch, what is it, The Irishman? I haven't seen it. Yeah. Did they, they did do that, that with De Niro and Pacino. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but you said it didn't look quite right. It didn't look quite right. I mean, it, I mean, I think you'll mm-hmm. if you followed Harrison Ford's career, I mm-hmm. think you'll think it looks a little off. He says it looks like a cartoon. He, that's not what he says. He says the technology has come to the point now where he says it's spooky that I look ex- totally natural and I look like I looked forty. What's he gonna say? I will see. <laughs> I'm, I'm interested. I do want to see. Didn't that. butcher me like Pacino. <laughs> you see that movie? <laughs> They're not even Irish. <laughs> Forgot about that one. That's right. They did. They de-aged him, but it it looked off. Let's see yeah. if this one looks off. He says that it has come far enough now where it looks exactly as if he was that age. Did you hear the uh, sort of the plot detail about the the new one, number no. five? No, I don't know. Have you heard about this, Biggie? Mm-mm. Supposedly, like as Kelly said, it's going to be set in 1969. Mm. The race to the moon between the United States and Ooh. Russia and yeah. Yeah. I think if memory serves, some of the scientists, doctors, researchers who worked on the American space program used to be Germans. Oh, really? So you know what that means? Nazis. Nazis. Nazis, Nazis. Nazis which he hates. Mm, he Indiana hates Jones him. hates Nazis. Well, that's interesting. So, I, so the, there may be like rocket ships and, and moon talk. Am I going to be in the theater? Or no. Jim? No. <laughs> no way. <laughs> well, but they, it's nice to think about, isn't it? It is. They asked Ford. Would you like to be that age again? And you know what he said? No. I've earned my age. I like being. I'm almost out of here. (laughs) 